Quarantine Cocktails, episode 32. Tommy Moriello, your host, here with the lovely Fusco family from <laughs> Westchester, New York. Uh, this is Jared, this is Fabiana, and we're doing Quarantine Cocktails and Friends today. So I wanted to bring to you guys a nice special edition, and with that, I am going to make a special cocktail. So I'm gonna bring the Fuscos back to my neighborhood, and we're gonna make a classic Brooklyn cocktail. So, classic Brooklyn cocktail, normally made with rye, so we're using the Wyoming for a rye. A little Outrider action, which you guys are very familiar with. Yes, we are. So for, they did one of those ride arounds for their son's birthday. And instead of throwing balloons and gifts, I threw cocktails on them. Right? Yes. Much appreciated. Excellent. Much appreciated. Excellent. Do you like, guys like that one? Excellent. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone that needs a little cocktail. There's only so the many balloons gift. you can get. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going two ounces of Wyoming Outrider pouring six because we have three of us here. We're gonna do one ounce of dry vermouth. So again, pouring three, so we have a few people here. Then I am going to go with a quarter of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Now, no, it's not the maraschino cherry juice guys. I'm kind of confused. That's right, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so do not make this cocktail with maraschino cherry cherry liqueur. <laughs> make it with the right one. So, what, what do you guys think? What was that last thing? So the last thing was Angostura bitters. Ah, yeah. So I just wanted to let my uh, Brooklyn accent go. But no, some people use uh, Ramazzotti or an Amaro for this, but I like the Angostura to it. It finishes the cocktail. So, and want to do a little spin a room? Sure, I'll give it a good spin. There you go. Hold on. Yeah, definitely don't give that to me. <laughs> oh my god, look, it's got a little skull. How cute is that? Exactly. Loving there it. Go. Believe it or not, I, I did bartend for a while. Oh yeah? Yeah, but it, it was a very long time ago. What was your number one drink when you were bartending? Oh, uh, I mean, it was like, what, like almost 20 years ago? <laughs> uh, back then? Mm, this was late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. It's, uh, Let's see. A lot of flavored I vodka. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of like weird flavored yeah. vodka. Cosmopolitan. Lemon drops. Ugh. Ooh. Everybody yeah. loved a lemon drop. A good lemon drop martini, though, is solid. You got to make it right. Yeah. Yeah. None of that sugary stuff. Oh, yeah. it definitely was that sugary crap back then. <laughs> <laughs> see, and I'm just an extra dirty vodka martini kind of guy. Mm, so too. I'm a big fan of those as well. Yeah. The dirtier, the better. So I, I love the Vespas, though. So half um, gin and vodka. Oh, uh, like gin, it. vodka, and it, you make it with little lay too. Those are a lot of fun. So now here's where the good cherries come out. None of that BS stuff. Nice. None of the stuff that we're put in the same thing yeah. that oh, the real dead man. bodies get put into. <laughs> you mean it's not the bright red? Exactly. <laughs> oh, you mean the, so this actually look? looks like a cherry? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Fun fact: We all know that my wife is one of the healthiest human beings on planet Earth. Yeah, she is. And so when we're first dating, I didn't know the craziness that goes into her diet. And her cheat day is the healthiest day that I ever had on planet Earth. <laughs> and she's eating some of the cherries. I'm like, I heard those things are like awful for you. Do you ever hear that? Like, I heard they're like really bad for you. And she later told me like a year and a half after, she goes, I wanted to stab you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't ruin cheat day. Come on. So the Brooklyn cocktail with the Fusco's. Cheers, Cheers guys. Salud. 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 To you guys at home too. I think you like it's really it? good. Yeah, it's I expected good. it to be sweeter, you know, like, and it's because of all the maraschino, but it's it's really good. I like it. It's, it's earthy. Yeah, and I'm and I'm an old fashioned kind of fan. Okay. You know, so this is definitely like this is right, right in your wheelhouse, wheelhouse man. Yeah. This yeah. is good. This is, yeah. Manhattan's this is sitting right right now. <laughs> Manhattan's old fashions, Brooklyn's, Boulevardiers, yeah. they all speak for the same one. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Bet you guys like it. Yeah, make more of those. Yeah, absolutely. They're funny. <laughs> so, brought these two lovely people together because we're talking about the two hardest jobs that are out right now. That's working from home and teaching your kids when you're not normally a teacher. So, we are all blessed to still be working, thank God. Um, and we're learning, so to speak, to work from home, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But yeah. while doing so, you're together. juggling teaching. <laughs> How old are your children? Oh, God. They're four and six. Boys, two boys. Two boys. Great haircuts. Really good haircuts, by the way. Thanks to you, Fed yeah. Ashley. Fantastic bulbs these guys have. <laughs> um, but 
apparently today was the epitome of today was it was a classic <laughs> it was today, a classic moment it was a classic we've had right. other ones but i think today took the cake yeah. for it's like a true definition of what working from home with two working parents in with quarantine. little kids <laughs> in a quarantine yeah. and to be honest with you they just never cease to amaze us <laughs> During there, this process, were there sharp objects? Uh, no, 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 no sugar <laughs> objects. So, but, but our kids know how to up their game. Yeah, that's okay? true. I will Very say true. that. You know, they they definitely keep setting that bar higher and higher <laughs> every single day. Yeah. That's very true. Yep. So, like, what, like a month into this? Yeah. We, you know, it's going to happen. I'm on a work call with a client, and Jared's on a work call with a client, and. We have to leave the kids unattended for an hour. So sometimes they have toys, sometimes they get an iPad. We just do the best we can, yep. and that's what happened. And <laughs> call ended, and all of a sudden we're like, Dante, Luca, what are you guys doing? No answer. That's, Dante, that's bad. We, Luca, no noise is bad. right? Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, it's not good, you know. <laughs> and then Jared, where are the kids? I don't know. They were up there with their iPads. Okay. So we started looking around the house, no answer, and then we're like, okay, maybe they went outside, which is fine. They have a yard, great. Okay, we go look in the yard, no kids. No, where are they? Jared, where were they? Oh, um, yeah, they um, were in the bathroom, Ooh. Uh, and they decided to perform their own science experiment. So this is exciting. Yeah, I haven't yeah, heard this yet. I said yeah. save it, save it, save it for so, this. So <laughs> it, it kind of was prefaced with both of us coming back upstairs, and we hear... Uh, Dante going, uh, Mom and Papa, we, we, we got a problem. That's never a good so, thing so from right a six year old. Admitting it, no. Yeah, when so, you hear so we right have there. a problem, or the other famous line, yeah. it's an emergency. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. Uh -huh. is the other favorite line we get. Yeah. So, so that's how it started off. So we knew walking in, it probably wasn't going to be a good scene going on. And uh, yeah, so we, we walk in. There is a clear substance all over the floor in the Un bathroom. Unknown clear substance. Unknown. Well, it was, it was clear clear identified. So, <laughs> of course, so, you know, your brain goes to like, ew. But what's, ew. Great, but what's great is, is that Dante is standing there, half soaking wet, right? <laughs> Luca is sitting on the toilet bowl. Pooping. Pooping. Yep. Going to the bathroom. All right, oh, you got to go. But, <laughs> hey, you know, Luca, at least we know Luca can multitask. So, science experiment and pooping at the same time. Yeah. So, they, uh, so why don't you, why don't they you tell them what they decided to do? To <laughs> do the science experiment, and they got um, a gallon of uh, white vinegar yeah. and a container of dry red chili pepper flakes, and they decided to put them together in a and, wobble ball. And, oh, in a wobble ball. That's right. That was that was the whole Which premise of the experiment. Which is one of those weird balls that you could put liquid or blow them up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they wanted to shake it up and see if it would explode. If you shake any liquid, awesome. of course it will kind of, when I get home. Yeah. you know, combust a little bit, right? Yeah. So it exploded um, all over our bathroom. <laughs> and um, our house yeah. currently smells like um, a salad, freaking yeah. salad. <laughs> a spicy salad. Um, they also had tie-dye shirts on. Yeah. And oh, yeah. the tie-dye shirts hadn't been washed yet because I hadn't gotten around to that, you know, because work, mom kids teaching you know other kids prepping well. for quarantine home cocktails renovation. and friends prepping yeah. for quarantine <laughs> cocktails exactly. and um so the tie-dye <laughs> is bleeding down their bodies yeah. at the same time the white vinegar yeah. poured all over yeah. yeah and luca is still pooping yeah throughout the entire thing and um yeah so how and and this is why them. I wore my Legion of Doom shirt today, if you guys can see that, because these two are by far the Legion of Doom. So. I gotta get you little, I gotta, I gotta get you little, little uh, face cutouts to put on there, yeah, you know, of them, so you have both of them in there. Yeah, um, you know, it was, um, it was, it was epic. I mean, yeah. like, we've had other moments, but this one was just epic. But it's also not like we left them alone for like a half an hour or an hour. Probably anywhere between five to ten minutes. Yeah, this one was a, was a short one. Tops. So that's the line, guys. If you're gonna leave your kids alone while you're working from home, keep it under ten. Five <laughs> to ten minutes is the danger zone. Big time. That's where science experiments and pooping happens. Mm -hmm. So write that one down. Yeah, it was yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. interesting. So is this the toughest day? Yeah. It, 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 we, I mean, listen, we've had we've had some other tough days, but this was the most um, baffling. 
I'd like to say. Yeah, I Because, agree. I mean, they, they've done some other, like, really stupid things, you know. And they're two boys. So they're going to wrestle. They're going to end up beating each other up and whatnot. And who's taking a toy and this and that. And, you know, that's fine. You know, I have an older brother, so I'm well equipped for kind of those scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but yeah, no, this was, this was a, um, a, yeah, baffling. Yeah, because I was I, like, honestly. Just the fact that they found a gallon of white vinegar, but also made the connection to put some crushed red pepper in there and uh, do this all together. Yeah, it was it was kind of a special moment. Yeah. A very special Dude, moment. A gallon of white vinegar yeah. was all over my bathroom floor. I, respect I mean, the you've hustle. seen the what oh, hustle? Yeah. Their hustle. hustle. Their hustle. Getting that, quick. getting all that stuff together in five to ten minutes. Ridiculous. First of all, I don't even and getting know a how they got the gallon. That's huge. Yeah, like I don't even know how they got a gallon of white vinegar. Like I don't even know where that was. Yeah. I don't even know where I had that. I'm just curious to see like how much prep he actually put into this. Like was it was it planned out and methodical? Did Dante go? I have an idea. <laughs> they would scoop it out your schedules for Start going. They would scoop it out your schedules for weeks. You exactly. had your calendar like, all right, all right. Listen, yeah, he's over there with my phone taking pictures of where everything is. Yeah. His mommy's calendar. His yeah. daddy's calendar. It was, it was yeah. utter Five, ridiculous. ten minutes we got. Brother, we're on our own. Let's do this. Yeah. It was some kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and Dante was like so proud that he was like, he's really into science. He was like so proud that he did a science experiment on his own. And I kind of was just like, all right, I'm kind of proud of you too, but at the same time, like, all right, now you smell like a salad. Yeah, yeah. My house smells like a salad. And I want to kill you. And <laughs> I have to clean this, right? And we spent like the better part of like, I don't know, a few hours scraping and cleaning down white vinegar that had exploded with uh -huh. red chili pepper flakes all over the place. Yeah, it was, it was fun Which guys. they have gutted this home for like, when I say gutted, I mean absolutely gutted. Yeah. And this guy has done pretty much all of the work of getting it all together, which is absolutely phenomenal. And this lovely lady is designing it, making it look all pretty. So it's <laughs> the perfect marriage, the perfect couple. It's a good thing I lost my hair but, before this started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure that this put the uh, put the test. In. Yeah, I yeah. mean, this one was just, was you know, I feel like quarantine, it definitely, this pandemic definitely puts you, it tests your limits. You know, it, it tests your parenting skills. <laughs> Um, you know, it tests your ability to focus, like to work from home, especially, you know, for me, I have to do like, you know, face client time sometimes or just FaceTime with someone and, you know, it's not, it's not easy, but you got to just roll with it. it it's, it's tough when you're, you're in such confined quarters and everybody has conflicting schedules yep. yeah. and overlapping schedules and try to find the time to do everything, but you can't be in every single place at every moment. So unfortunately, you kind of, as a parent, you, you get to the point where you're like, all right, I could do something better here, <laughs> but I have to do this kind of less desirable choice. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to shove an iPad in front of my kids, <laughs> but guess what? If I'm on a call with Europe and my wife is on a client call and they're both two hour calls, yeah. guess what? You know, at what point does the duct tape come out? Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> yeah, and I have and I have multiple colors, so I get to spice it up. You so know, Monday is good. like orange, Tuesday you color coordinate. Blue, little the white. Week. Sometimes I'll I'll or do multicolor. Of anger. The it's, color it's, it's more about the amount of duct tape being used, uh, really. So. Don't make someone call CPS on us. <laughs> so there's no proof. <laughs> to close the show. Everyone that I've heard, every single thing is, I, I can't deal, I have a newfound respect for teachers. You know, yeah. I, I can't, I, I'm trying to figure out how to work from home. I'm trying to figure out all these different things. I don't know how to do it. So what advice would you give to the parent that, besides hide your vinegar, what, <laughs> what, what <laughs> vinegar. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, and it, it's funny because we bring in cocktails in this, right? And we're talking, Fab, you don't drink brown spirits. You don't nope, like I it. don't. So you drink anything. I do. Um, <laughs> but... I just told you, yes. I rarely drink brown liquor because it's just not my jam, but this is actually a drink that is very good because, like I said, I think you use good quality ingredients and you mix the right ingredients so that it's not overwhelming. Like, I'll, I don't overwhelmingly taste the brown liquor, you yep. know? So. So, and that's, it's balance. That's so right. you balance the cocktail. Right. So what balance would you give uh, to parents to yeah. balance out their me time? because everyone needs their me time. Yeah, me time Their is work time, their mom and dad time, yeah. and their teacher camp time. 
Yeah, so... Drink more of these. Drink more, okay. Well... I got a well, bonus. Go, Keep I'll on going. Go, yeah. <laughs> Drink more. Would you like me to... <laughs> Vanna White the bottle for yeah, you? I'll label, label out, sir. Label, label out, out, sir. Yes, drink more. <laughs> drink more. There we go. <laughs> so, a word of advice for anyone that is currently battling the struggles of red pepper, vinegar, and pooping <laughs> and conflicting phone calls... Um, what have you guys done to balance out your schedules to, for, um, sc for school and for... Work? Yeah, I mean, look, with school, we do the best we can, you yeah. know. Do we get to everything sometimes? No. Yeah. Did I, did we used to beat ourselves up in the beginning about it? Yeah, yes. we did. And now we're just like, hey, we're doing the best we can and they're doing okay. They're fine, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, it's an adjustment. So in that sense, you know, I think we just do the best we can and, you know, it's just you do what you can. That's yeah. honestly the best advice I could have ever probably realized. It took me a while to get there. I won't even lie. It took us a long time to get there. But For that ish, don't judge me. Come September. <laughs> long time. Patience. <laughs> Some days are better than others. And the bad days, you know, they just, they're bad days. You know, I think we try to think about like the silver linings and all of this, right? I don't really spend a lot of time with my kids as a working parent. Not that Jared doesn't either, you know? So we now have that time. It's probably not the kind of time we were thinking about but we get it so that yeah there's awesome. there's 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 a trade-off you know I, I think what i'm kind of coming to oh. is just you got you got to find as parents you got to find some time for yourselves at the end of the day yeah you know because you're and this is perfect <laughs> this, this is, is a perfect segue <laughs> you know, you know it, it, it all this just ends up changing your perspective on things you know and uh you know i feel like you a lot of the things that we're kind of battling with now and struggling with now are some of the things that we wanted to be around for yeah but we couldn't so it's kind of like a double-edged sword in a Silver sense of it, it's it's great to be able to have this time with your kids maybe a little too hard too fast <laughs> <laughs> but you know i, I wasn't think, ready yeah no way it was just like you flip the switch and you're like you're home buddy um but i think it i think you know hopefully long term like fabian was saying that you know, you start to um, get some more compassion and maybe it'll start to change the mentality of some people and, you know, you'll be a little bit looser and willing to kind of flow with things and just take things as they come versus trying to over plan things yeah. too much. You know, I think a lot of us tend to try to get it all done and be in six different places at once when you can't. And you put, as parents, putting yeah. too much stress on ourselves yeah. and too much guilt. Lower and, that bar. And, and lower oh, that bar. You're not going to take the perfect bar. game every, every you gotta time. you got to lower the Listen. bar. And then when you meet it, you're like, yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> take the bar, throw it away. That's true. I like that even better. <laughs> take the bar, get rid of it. Okay? That's, I mean, that's that's my kind of best advice. You know, just just roll with it. It's awesome. You know? Yeah. So. Well, guys, that was great. <laughs> Quarantine Cocktails and Friends, episode one. Love this. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys you. for tuning in. As always, be sure to check out the digital speakeasy next week. Kick it off with Jeremy Fonticello on Monday. Uh, be sure to get on over. Check out Another Round, Another Rally. Check out Danny and Jackie's uh, virtual happy hours as well. A lot of cool stuff still going on. But until next time, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. cheers. Hey, perfect time, it sounds like, too. Oh, yeah, he's having like a fit. He, he was doing, no, Fabiana, he was like, I, I want my water. I want a little bit of this. I want my back rubbed. No, no, no. <laughs>